Welcome back, everyone. This is your stressed, depressed, and in marital distress idol manager, Lizard. And last time we were here, I married wonderful Suzuki Nako, only to be divorced for reasons unknown to me. And I'm still faithful to my wife. So, I guess I'll be focusing entirely on raising these idols as idols. Romance is dead. Love is dead. It's not quite Pride Month, but happy Pride. Congratulations that your father is an addict, girl. <sighs> Oh no, a little too competitive on the game show, blatantly cheating. Oh, she's been pegged as a filthy cheating criminal. I'm sure Nako thought I was one too. <sighs> um... Obviously not the third one. Hire an investigator? It's not that expensive. That's like 500 bucks, right? <sighs> Coming back to this? Coming back to this? Right after heartbreak? How fucking dare you, Sasuke Bakugo? Trampling over someone when they're down. But I think I'm going to be playing aggressively from now on because I'm not dealing with that anymore. I was distracted and now focus. Okay, let's see. Oh boy, let's put you there, hmm? Um, I need three more. Um, change that so you're there too. And we didn't do too many singles last time, so let's do Let's continue with the uh, beachless. How about like, hey, Judy. And what's popular right now? You could do pop, happiness. Hmm. You could do pop, happiness. Hmm. Street. Do you reckon that'll sell to the people, the happy, happy couples out there? Hmm, I'm sure it'll be great. Oh, look, our concert's good. Seven action cards? How many songs am I performing? Oh no. That's okay. Ah. Yikes, girl. Yikes, girl. Yikes, girl. It's okay. Hey, this was our first hit. did it. Let me move out of the way for a second. Oops. Wrong assets. Let me move here for a moment. Um, 
Let's give you some stamina. Something in the blue. She moves. Ah, let's give you some stamina. Crazy big thing called lust. Hey, now we're maxed out. Um, let's lower the accident chance. Pro villain. I swear if we hit the 10%. Okay, thank god. Oosh. Let's lower that again. Sorry about that stamina girl. Okay. Do that. Maybe I should have saved that. She might be doing two songs. Okay. Okay, no, we're good. So I'll be moving back. <sighs> I'm glad that these idols are still, you know, doing their jobs. Wait, hold on. Who wants to rank 7th again? Will it tell me? Uh, you want to rank 7th. Uh, Kawamura Kira. Ogi no Aina. Okay. Nice. You're new. Oh, whoops. Uh, oh, no. Uh, uh, Ogi no. Where are you? You. Cool, okay. Um, can I have you? No, I can't. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I can? What the fuck? <laughs> Hello? That's allowed? Uh, okay. That's strange. Matsuoka Manami. Who's our top idol right now? Teddy Ayaka, okay. He went up. Sarina has gone down. Who has gone up? Hmm. Momoka has gone up. And who's number one? Of course it's you. Mizuno Yuki stays at the top of the charts, huh? Hmm. I haven't quite gotten that yet, but... Hey, congrats on getting first place in the election. And congrats on you to, uh, to, to you on getting second place. Yeah, second place is nice. It's no first place, though. Oh, I hope you don't feel bad just because I won. I kid, I kid. Why would I feel about pla- Why would I feel bad about placing second? It's better than I thought it would do. It's pretty dang close to being number one. In fact, now that I've gotten so close to being number one, it actually feels like an attainable goal. That's what I'm going to be shooting for from now on. So watch your fucking back, bitch. Mm -hmm. Well, best of luck. We should be, we should all be trying our best, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll certainly be trying my best. And you better keep trying your best too. You might be number one, but I'm hot on your tail. Mm. Well, I guess a little friendly rivalry can be healthy. healthy. Let's both push each, each other to do our best, okay? <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. Glad to know that the girls are on friendly rival terms. Usually those kind of blossom into a budding romance. However, budding romances are kind of overrated these days, I think. Huh. How's our research going? Can I research anything? No. Lyrics are written. Please, Shitake, work on the song. Thank you so much. <sighs> I 
let's see, the world tour ready? Yeah, it is. Um, we got Russia, Germany, uh, Argentina, Brazil. Yeah, let's do that. Why not, huh? It'll take a fuck ton of stamina, but I can afford it. Huh. Girls, enjoy your youth. Don't get involved. Actually, you know what? I think we'll be keeping... Oh, also, I think we can do this. Because we are so... Uh, we are so rich. Uh, let's do that. What is let's change our vibe back to funny. Um... Hmm. Interesting. Penalty to hardcore appeal. Hmm. You know what? I'm not gonna forbid you from it. I am gonna change it to ambiguous though. Actually, you two are, like, maxed out on this shit, right? Uh, you are, and you are, so no need to deal with that scandal yet. It's crazy that this scandal is still following them. But, whatever. There's an item in the news you might want to take a look at. A bunch of sites just went live with it. I sent you a link to the article. We also got a call from a journalist asking for comment. Oh, is it that bitch? The <laughs> very sus bitch? I told her I could take her contact, contact information, but she said not to bother and that she'd just try to reach you later. She hung up on me before I could get her name. The email from Yucatan contains link to, links to a story that appears to have been reported in several major outlets. Sources close to JHK Broadcasting's leadership confirmed that th this morning that JHK is in talks with International Broadcasting and Entertainment to license international rights for a na nation of idols. While no detail has yet been finalized, multiple sources within JHK and IBE confirm that IBE is interested in producing adaptations of Nation of Idols in the United States and United Kingdom. Oh, so like, the voice, like, except it's like, oh, the voice America. The Voice UK. Uh, Britain's Got Talent. It's a... Britain of Idols. <laughs> According to one source, Nation of Idols was conceived as a program for bringing unknown Japanese talent to a Japanese audience. In the same way, a United Kingdom version of the show would aim to discover up-and-coming talent within the UK and discover the UK's next pop idol sensation. Hmm. Chapter Trace. Nice to know we're in a new chapter. Maybe I can forget what's happened before. As you leave the office, you're ambushed by a familiar-looking journalist. A very familiar, very suspect journalist. Emma. Why does it play the boing? The fucking, like, big booba sound effect every time she shows up. Hi, I called your office earlier in the day, but I got the old runaround, so I figured I might have more success if I tried finding you in person. Plus, I was in the neighborhood. It's amazing how much news happens in this district. I'm sure you saw the news today about how Nation of Idols might get adapted for foreign audiences. As a participant, do you have any thoughts? Uh, no comment. Oh. Well, alright. I'm going to write in my article that you said no comment. And also let the readers know the facial expression you made when you when I asked you. I think it's best for the public to know if the ca the candid reactions of public figures like like yourself. Goki Genya. Anyway, good luck with the next round of the competition. See you later. You are so sus, ma'am. 
video pops up at the top of your newsfeed. Combination of Nation of Idols and Sasuke Bakugo in the headline immediately grabs your attention. Fuck is this dude up to now? Many of you- oh, right, British. Many of you know that yesterday news came out that JHK is in talks with an international company who wants to buy the rights to the show uh, to create foreign adaptations of Nation of Idols. As someone who is involved in, with Nation of Idols, but not party to all of the talks that happen behind the scenes, I was vaguely aware of international interest in the show, and I was optimistic about the possibility of an in international licensing deal that might bring Nation of Idols, a show that celebrates Japan's unique idol culture, to an international audience. Unfortunately, that doesn't... That isn't what appears to be happening here. All indications point towards uh, toward JHK simply selling the name and the concept behind Nation of Idols so that foreign adaptations of the show can be produced. Sir, the voice exists. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna, like, fucking Britain's Got Talent, America's Got Talent exists. This is just another show. An American version of this show would focus not on bringing Japanese idols to American audiences, but instead trying to discover, try, focus on trying to discover the next American pop idol. This, in my eyes, is a betrayal to the core identity of Nation of Idols. In my mind, the title of the show implicitly referred to Japan. We are the Nation of Idols. Kinda, I don't know. Kinda bringing it back to the isolationism, bro. There is something about the unique way that Japanese idol groups take our homegrown talents and develop it. Nine, uh. To take that idea and assume that it can be reproduced anywhere else is to miss the point of the show. Ja like, Japanese idols only. I am a weeaboo. Sorry, no, I'm Japanese, so... I'm an otaku. I don't do things from other countries. Just because I'm British doesn't mean I'm not Japanese at heart. Uh. Unfortunately, the network seems blind to this fact. I have voiced my concerns, but they have fallen on deaf ears. It's for this reason that I am choosing to protest in a way that will be harder for them to ignore. I am boycotting the show. Of course, I am well aware that I can be replaced. Despite the haughty persona that I present on television for entertainment purposes, I'm not so arrogant as to assume that the show would fail without me. However, the show will fail if the real stars decide not to show up. I am, of course, referring to the idols. It's for this reason that I'm calling for the idol groups involved in the show to join me in boycotting it. In two days, they will be taping an episode of Nation of Idols that would f that will feature three groups. The Platinum Rockies, Hozone, Hozone is such a good name, I'm like jealous, and Scales. If all of them refuse to perform, it will send a powerful message to the network. I'm also calling on the fans to voice their opinions online. Tell the network how you feel. Let them know that I'm not alone in believing that Nation of Idols is a show with an identity that sprung from a unique idol culture. And that will be compromised if it gets rebranded and reproduced by a massive international corporation that doesn't understand the show's unique identity and the idol culture that it emerged from. Dude, there is no ethical consumption under capitalism. You think this ain't happening regardless? What's your fucking boycott gonna do, bro? The fans and idols are the ones who made Nation of, Nation of Idols what it is. Ah, uh, yes, just the fans and the idols, not the fucking people that, you know, do all of the production work and the behind the scenes. Ha ha ha. I'm sure they would be equally as famous if I didn't push so hard for them to be famous. In a just and fair world, they should be the ones who decide the show's future. I would like to remind you that while it seems like the television network may hold all of the cards, they can't succeed without your help. You have the power to decide whether this show succeeds or not. 
So please. Do the right thing. I know that some of the participating groups have been questioned about their feelings on this matter and declined to comment on the situation. Yeah, no comment. But you can say you can stay on the sidelines no longer. You are part of this. The question is whether you will sink with me or sink, sink. Uh, the question is whether you will side with me and take a stand in defending Jap Japan's idol culture, or whether you will acquiesce to a corporation that is willing to sacrifice that for an easy payday. I mean, dude, like, I mean, the way that you phrase it makes it sound like the worst thing in the world, but it's literally just another branding of, like... You know, like, America's got talent, Britain's got talent, that kind of shit. And if you're not, if you're not, like, extending it to the outside world, those people that are watching those shows weren't gonna watch your shit anyway. You know, I realize that because they're focusing on other, um, you know, like foreign idols. I realized that them focusing on the foreign idols, you know, non-Japanese ones, like people would be really paying attention to those, but if they ever look up the history of the show, then they would maybe direct traffic to the original show. But I don't think those people would have been interested in the first place. Like, I kind of doubt they would have seen it. Like, I love Japanese media, but it's kind of niche when it comes to, like, Western culture, honestly. Glad to see Mr. Sasuke taking a stand. A stand for what? Hog in the spotlight trying to take attention from away from the show and its contestants? Did you pay attention to the vid? Don't see why foreign licensing would affect that. We can have this show, their show, we can have ours. Any reason we should keep paying attention to this obnoxious blowhard? Maybe if you care about the future of idol culture. It's not like the, like, idol culture is gonna fucking destroy itself. Like, most of, most of our fans are gonna be in Japan regardless, like... Like, have, have y'all seen the audiences that I get in the other countries? It's not a lot. <laughs> like, losing those fans... Even if they were lost, which I kind of doubt they would be, because if they're if they're aware of Japanese idols already, then they're probably weeaboos. So they'd probably be like, "Oh no, I gotta, I gotta support my girls, my Japanese waifus." I'm not sure if I'm rooting for anyone in this conflict, but I'm loving the drama. I'm rooting for chaos and savagery. Mm. Won't be watching Nation of Idols this week. I'll tune back in if it starts just being about watching fun performances instead of whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, honestly, it's an entertainment in industry, so uh, a lot of people, I'd rather, I'd reckon, like, most people don't care. <laughs> hey, I'm sure you heard about the news of, uh, I'm sure you heard the news about Nation of Idols. Or more sp specifically, Mr. Sasuke's video challenging everyone to pull out. Uh, yeah, no, we're not doing that. I'm sure the show appreciates your loyalty, even if Mr. Sasuke doesn't think they deserve it. I expect there to be a lot of news over the next few days. After all, you're not the only one that Mr. Sasuke just made a public ap appeal to. The Platinum Rockies and Hozone are probably also scrambling right now, figuring out what they should do. By the way, Hozone is a fantastic name. Why didn't you name your group that? Oh, sir, if I'd known, 
Sir, if I'd known... My god. They're both probably waiting to see what the others will do. After all, nobody wants to be the only group to pull out. Hmm. Mine's already made up. Is that so? Well, I guess it's a good thing that I didn't come here expecting to change your mind. I just came here to ask one thing of you. Regardless of whether you choose to stay in or pull out, hold on, hold back on making the announcement. The taping will happen two days from now, but things could change between now and then. What are you planning? In the immediate? I'm going to see if I can have a conversation with Mr. Sasuke about what's going on. Of course, Mr. Sasuke might not be willing to tell me anything. But in my history of dealing with him, and I do have history, I've always been surprised at how often Mr. Sasuke is willing to confide in the people who lend a sympathetic ear when he feels like his back is against the wall. It might all be some sort of gambit on Mr. Sasuke's part. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. This dude is like too sus. Like, I don't think he's really in it for the fucking... Like, betterment of Japan's idols or whatever. I won't accept anything I hear at face value. But in the meantime, please just wait to make your announcement. See how the situation develops before doing anything rash. So much story. As so you walk down the hallway, you pass by the break room and hear the sound of Sasuke Bakugo's voice. Sounds faint, but as if it's played, being played through a tiny speaker. Uh, Nishikata Sayaka is there, holding her phone up to her face, for, apparently ab absorbed in the video. As Sasuke Bakugo's video stops playing, she looks up and notices you. Oh, hi, Miss Lee. I guess you've probably seen Mr. Sasuke's video by now. Hmm, what do you think? Well, I felt a little bit called out. I mean, Scales is directly called out, and I am part of Scales, so I guess that's only natural. But I did find Mr. Sasuke's words kind of inspiring. This is our chance to stand up and be part of something big. I guess it's weird to say that. We're already part of Nation of Idols, which is a big show. But this feels even bigger than this. It's not just an event or a TV show. It's a cause. I'm not really sure how to describe it, but... It's almost like the feeling I first got when I discovered I was accepted to be part of Scales. So this. Mr. Sasuke's words reminded me of why I wanted to be an idol in the first place. It felt like a reminder that there are things more important than money or fame. I know that Nation of Idols has been a good opportunity for Scales, but I'd almost rather not appear on the show at this point. Girl, sorry to, sorry to break this to you, but we're going on the show. I am pushing this group to its limits and i don't mean like oh i'm going to work you to the bone but i am going to bring you to fame because clearly that's the only thing i'm getting out of this goddamn group just for the sake of making a statement about why idols are such an important part of our culture sorry girl but like i'm not pulling out Sorry about that. Uh, let's do an election single. Uh, what's another? Mm, as your bird can dance. Same shit as before. Let's do pop happiness and street. Why not? Pop happiness street. Uh, let's do 350. Why not? 350k. Um. All oh, right. You. Why is? Oh. Because someone left. Wait. Hmm. Oh. Right. No. It wasn't that someone left, it was that I rigged the election. That's strange. Wait. One, two, three, four. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eh? Ten? What the fuck? Oh, I guess it's just listing them, but I can't do that. 
It's all right. Let's start work on that. And oh, let's have you work on logistics for this. Um, and let's continue the story. Why not? Yukatan rushes up to greet you as soon as you enter the building. Oh, good morning. There's a call we just got from JHK. It's about the whole, uh, well, you know, the situation from yesterday. Uh, they just wanted to confirm that we'd still be appearing tomorrow at the studio for taping. I told them that you weren't in the office to confirm one way or another, but uh, that I would keep them informed of any developments on our end. They also sent along a reminder that we're contractually obligated to show up and that if we fail to show up, the possibility does exist for them to pursue legal action against us. After all, if we pull out and cause their ratings to rank, they could blame, blame their bad ratings on us and sue us for any related damages. I'm not sure what their advertising revenue is for a typical night on, of primetime television, but if they sue us, it could be for a pretty hefty amount. I mean, what, how, like, how hefty are we talking? Because I'm kind of, kind of stacked right now. Hmm. Hmm. Can't push this around like that. I was thinking the same thing. Certainly, they could sue us, but it would be a really bad look for them. Any money they got from suing us for pulling out would probably be offset by the PR damage they'd incur by attacking an idol group like ours. That being said, I wouldn't put it past them to sue us anyway. So we probably can't rely on the fans to blanket us from legal action, especially if public opinion turns against any idol groups that pull out. I'll be monitoring uh, public attitudes around this throughout the day. Maybe we should even conduct some informal polling to see how people would feel if we decided to pull out. It's always good to take the temperature of the room before making a rash decision. Sorry for ambushing you right as you walked in, but this seemed too urgent to wait until you were settled into your office. As Yukatan walks away, you hear the sound of someone entering the building. Her entrance doesn't go unannounced. So is it boing? Gamma. Yes, it is. Miss Lee, so glad to see you. I was hoping to get a quote from you about a story that I'm about to break. I'll keep you anonymous. I know it would be bad news if they found out you were t talking to the press in the midst of negotiations. But I've got to know what's going on with Nation of Idols. I heard that after Sasuke Bakugo called you out with the, along with the Platinum Rockies and Hozone. Oh, I'm, oh, I am familiar with Hozone. I used to be part of them, you know? In fact, I was the leader, but I decided that I love juicy gossip more than anything. Uh, the network started threatening to sue anyone who pulled out. Is that true? Hmm. Hmm. No comment. Oh, really? That sounds like a really fancy way of saying that you won't deny it. Which you'd only say if they were threatening you, right? I get it. You're scared to give an honest answer. Anyway, I'll just write ambiguously that some groups have been threatened with legal action. That shouldn't implicate you directly. After all, maybe I'm just talking about the Platinum Rockies and Hozone, right? Just two out of three idol groups. Totally not the third that's involved in the three idol group group. Anyway, this story is hot right now, so I've got to run and get this ready to submit. The public needs to know. Is there anything else you wanted to say before I write this up? Hmm. Well, how'd you find out about it so quickly? Hey, you know what they say. Early bird gets the worm. I've been taking that to heart. You know, there are a lot of journalists that just want to sit at a desk all day and do everything by phone or email. I'm an up-and-comer, so I have to be scrappy and go where the stories are. I found you here, didn't I? And the first time we met, it was because I was snooping around in a place where I was not. Strictly speaking, welcome. I found that being creative is a good alternative to having the right connections. Anyway, you've been a great help. Catch you later. Okay, ma'am. I don't consent to your presence. Hmm. A 
I thought filming was in two days. Why is it so far? I don't want to level up ads. It's gross. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, let's see. What else? When's release day? Oh, soon. Maybe tomorrow, the day after? Hmm. Today? No. Okay, story is available, but I want to release this before. Boom. Beatless. Way. Nice. Okay. That's good. Oh, that's done? Okay, that's done. Um, world tour. I think my stamina is pretty bad right what now. Is it? Yeah, let me give it a few days, but let's progress the story in the meantime. <sighs> Around noon, an email from Yucatan comes from Yucatan reading. This just went out. Thought you should see it. From the thumbnail, it appears to be another video from that bitch. <laughs> hey guys. Several minutes ago, a story just went up reporting that JHK has threatened legal action against several of the idol groups, who are scheduled to appear in the next episode of Nation of Idols. Why is this dude framing this like a fucking presidential announcement? Like, why is he dressed and, like, posed like one? You're a fucking idol manager, my guy. They're, like, and this fucking backdrop is such, like, a White House-looking backdrop. Like, chill. I was going to write of an editorial response, uh, I was going to write of an editorial responding to this, but things are unfolding fast, so I wanted to just give you my candid reaction to that in real time. First off, hands off to the excellent journalism from Ayanaya, who's done the hard work of digging up the facts behind this story. Totally not, you know, her being creative. Naya-san, thank you for telling a story that we all needed to hear. From the sound of things, JHK is threatening legal action against at least some of the idol groups, and it seems safe to assume that if they're meant, that if they've se sent these warnings out to some of them, they've sent them out t to all of them. I feel partially responsible for this. I was the one who named Scales, the Platinum Rockies, and Hozone in my video earlier this week. And now, by all indications, they're being threatened with legal action. Whoopsies. Dude, we should sue you. Shit. I didn't mean to paint a target on your bags, totally. Oh, you know, it just happens to be idol groups that are, uh, you know, competing with mine at the top of the charts. Oh, woe is me. I only wanted to give you an invitation to do the right thing and pull out pull out of the competition so that, you know, I can skyrocket. But now it seems the network is intent on ensuring that these groups don't do the right thing. That's terrible. Of course, they have a contract and they can enforce it. They have a similar contract with me, but I was willing to break that contract because I knew that doing the right thing was more important than any fine they could levy against me. But I know that not everyone has the same personal conviction and courage that I was willing to demonstrate, and apparently the network knew it too, because they assumed that they could intimidate everyone into complying with their wishes. So again, I'll make the same appeal to Scales, the Platinum Rockies, and Hozone. Do the right thing. Yeah, I'm not falling for your fucking silver tongue, my guy. Even, it me even if it means losing money. It's not about the money, dude. I'm trying to get these idols out into the world. And you're trying to twist this situation into your favor, I'm sure of it. Because these three groups are up-and-coming groups that happen to be top on the charts alongside yours. 
So I don't believe it. But I think Naya-san's story has exposed the network for what they really are. Bullies. And I don't think the public is going to let them get away with it. Whatever legal damages they might re recoup, uh, recoup, 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 whatever legal damages they might recoup by suing individual idols will pale in comparison to the damage they'll face now that people know the truth. So I'm asking all of you, make it known that this bullying and intimidation is something that we will not stand for. With that, the video ends. The video's only been live for several minutes, but reactions are already pouring in online. People love drama. Shit. Go, Bakugo! Whole thing's been fascinating to watch. Secretly hoping that the lawsuit happens so we can see this continue. You're a sociopath if you want the idol groups to suffer just for your entertainment. I mean, the purpose of this idol gr of idol groups is to provide entertainment. They sing and dance for us. How is this different? You know, ignore all the mental trauma that they go through. Uh, threatening people with lawsuits is just straight up evil. Nothing about this is fun. Uh, Sasuke Bakugo is one of those people who really likes the sound of their own voice. Yeah, he is. Oh, way to completely miss the point, idiot. Yeah, look at all these people arguing. It's just like Twitter. Huh. How realistic. Hey, get on the choreo for that, why don't ya? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oops. How's my, how's my stamina doing? Bad. Well, not good enough for... Not good enough for a 80 stamina point world tour. Um, hey, let's level up variety shows, huh? Um, let's do another spa treatment, and then we'll do our world tour. Let's see. How we doing? Russia? We level up. Germany? We level up. They love us. See, like, look how few new fans there are. See, there's like maybe 500 fans in an, each, each country that fucking can make it to my shows. It's not much. I lose money, but... See, I, I'm like actively losing money. Like, catering to... Like, the overseas fans. Like, I don't think we're losing out on profits by licensing the fucking show out, dude. At 5 p.m., a notification comes in. JHK just posted a public press release that reads as follows. Earlier today, a story came out reporting that we intend to pursue legal action against performers and organizations that fail to fulfill their contractual obligations. And, you know, we have the right to do that because it's in the contract that they signed. They have lawyers. The lawyers read the shit. They still signed the contracts. So, you know. While we normally exercise the rights we have to this, uh, the right to... To do this, we have decided in this specific instance that we will not pursue action against performers and organizations who have participated in Nation of Idols. Although our contract stipulates that these parties have obligations that they are required to fulfill, we believe that recent developments require a more flexible approach because people on Twitter are cancelling us, and we can't have that because the ratings will tank. A minute later, Yucatan appears. Oh, we just got a call from the net from the network. This seems like an important call. I'll forward, it, I'll forward it to your desk. On the other end of the phone, you can hear the voice of an apologetic sounding man. Uh, hello, Miss Lee. I'm Oshima Hideji. Uh, head of business development in, uh, at JHK. I just wanted to extend to you a heartfelt, heartfelt, heartfelt apology for the, uh, uh, confusion that resulted over previous messages sent from our network to your staff. I just want to clarify that it was never our intention to intimidate or browbeat you into, uh, uh, compliance. We've just publicly announced that we have no intention to pursue an action against Scales or any other group who decides to pull out of the show. Uh, r regardless of the decision you make, we will be fully supportive. 
regardless of what decision you make, uh, we would appreciate it if you could assist us in conveying to the public that your decision, uh, whatever it was, was not uh, coerced. Uh, that was never our intent, and I, I apologize deeply if anyone from our staff has ever indicated otherwise. Uh, fucking politics in the workplace. Don't you love it? Uh, bearing that in mind, I was wondering if you could in indicate to us whether you still plan to show up tomorrow for the re recording. Um, haven't decided. I see. Because I'm not supposed to announce that yet. Well, we hope to see you at tomorrow's taping. We understand that this is a delicate situation. So we will be ready to receive you at the recording studio tomorrow if you are still willing to participate. Uh, once again, I hope you understand that we value all of our partners and uh, have no intention of pursuing legal action against you or any of the rest of the talent involved in the production of Nation of Idols. If you speak to the press, it would assist us greatly if you could convey that information to them. Please. The people on Twitter are so mean. I think they're only like 12 years old, but they know all of your weak spots. As the call ends, Yucatan steps back into your office. I hope you don't mind, but I was listening in on the other end. That guy was kind of fucking pathetic. Mr. Oshima certainly was contrite, and even if it was a bit insincere, it seems that they have no intention of pressuring us to decide one way or another. If Mr. Sasuke's intention was to make the network too scared to threaten anyone with legal action, I'd say they succeeded. Uh, I wonder if they're being more cautious or afraid of Mr. Sasuke's public support than is warranted. At any rate, it sounds like good news for us. Anyway, it seems like we still have time to, de to decide whether we really want to participate. In light of that, perhaps we should avoid making a public announcement until tomorrow. <laughs> it may nearly be evening, but who knows what could happen between now and tomorrow morning. Hmm. What do you think? You, you want to know what I think? Well, mainly I'm just happy that I'm not the one who has to make the final decision, because it's really hard to tell what the right call in this situation is. That being said, I have been mulling things over in my head, weighing the pros and cons of both sides. I think showing up is the right decision from a business relations perspective. We've been lucky to have this opportunity, and I think continuing to be on the show will benefit us in the short term, while also being beneficial to future business relationships. I also don't like the idea of biting the hand that's fed us so generously. That being said, may there may be some PR costs. Uh, I think that's fine. Twitter has the attention span of a toddler, so it's not a big deal, I think. I think people will forget about this in... Like, as a whole, people will forget about this in... I'd give it, like, a month at most. Kinda how Twitter be. I'm guessing that the apolog apologetic phone call we got yesterday is because they were feeling pressure from people who were threatening some kind of backlash. So, while being on the show is great publicity for a great... So, while being on the show is a great publicity opportunity for us, that publicity won't be free. Of course, we're in a big position. As a big brand, the network wants to avoid negative publicity, but who knows, negative publicity could work in our favor. After all, we're a small group. More people talking about us, even if they're saying bad things, gets our name out to more potential fans. Of course, that's completely setting aside the question of whether you agree with Mr. Sasuke's view about the international version of Nation, Nation of Idols betraying idol culture. I don't agree, I think it's isolationist and boring. I am assuming you probably have your own personal position on that. Uh, maybe that's more important to you than any of the other business faction factors I mentioned. I guess the whole reason for the this conflict kicked off is that the network wants to dilute the appeal of Nation of Idols to bring it to a larger audience, but Mr. Sasuke thinks that it's more important to be faithful to the hardcore audience. I mean, I feel like we appeal to hardcore and casual. Like, maybe a lot of our... I mean, no. Hmm. No, but like... <sighs> I feel like appealing to hardcore fans gets you more money, but like... 
I feel like there's just more casual fans, you know? Which side do you think is right? I don't think there is a right or wrong here, but I'm showing up. Anyway, I don't mean to keep you any longer. Uh, be sure to get a good night's rest. Absolutely not, but thank you. Jesus, there's so much story. Hey, Miss Lee, you're leaving for the day already? I guess I should probably go home too. Something bothering you? I guess I've just been wondering what's gonna happen tomorrow. I know it makes sense for you to hold back the announcement since you don't want to let anything leak out, but it feels weird to go home today, not knowing if we'll actually be going in to record tomorrow. I mean, just a week ago, I was on top of the world, thinking that appearing on TV was going to be my big break. But now it feels like that might get taken away from me. I guess this is what it means to be an idol. One day, it feels like your dreams are coming true, and in an instant, they could all be dashed. Oh, sorry if that came out wrong. Uh, of course I'd be disappointed if we pulled out, but I wouldn't place the blame on you if I did, if you did. I know you're getting pressure from a lot of different sources. I bet you're even more worried about this whole situation than I am. Mm, I've got it under control. Mm -hmm. Is that so? Well, that's reassuring to hear. I just hope that you're right. Still... I hope that we stick with Nation of Idols. That show has done so much for my career. It wouldn't feel right to abandon it now, right? Sorry, it probably felt selfish when I said it like that. But if we pulled out, it would be biting the hand that fed us. Sayonara. I guess I should go home and try to get some sleep. Oh, don't worry about it, girl. Uh, oh, I need marketing for this. Do that, thank you. And then let's have a spa day for the girls because they're getting kind of low. Because even though I have so much goddamn money, what's our salaries? Wow, they are happy. Maybe I should start doing auditions again, huh? Let's do that, huh? Um, and then I'll do this, and then let's progress the story. I just got a call. Uh, two calls, actually. Both the Platinum Rockies and Hozone want to know what we plan to do regarding today's taping. Apparently, they both plan to announce that at 9.30am that they're pulling out. They're suggesting that we do the same thing as a show of solidarity. That is, of course, assuming that we decide to pull out. Given that we would be recording stu at the recording studio by 10 a.m. if we were showing up, that seems as good a time as any to make it official. I think the dust is f finally starting to settle on this, so we need to make a final decision. If Scales is going to show up and appear on set for Nation of Idols, I need to know now. If we're going to announce alongside the Platinum Rockies and Hozone that we're also pulling out, well, I also need to know now. What are we going to do? We take the opportunity that is granted to us. We're showing up. Alright, I'll make sure everyone's at the studio about the scheduled time. As you arrive at the recording location for Nation of Vitals, the junior staffer rushes up to greet you. Oh, this dude! This guy's kind of pathetic. He's cute. Hi, uh, you're Miss Lee, right? I was wondering if you could uh, accompany me to a uh, separate soundstage? Um... I can't accompany the idols? Um, w well, as you know, things have been in flux lately. Uh, we had several last-minute pull-outs. Uh, 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 I think it might be best if I let Mr. Tana Tanaka explain. Uh, you remember him from the judging panel last time, right? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Lee, so good to have you uh, with us. We really appreciate your willingness to play ball here. As you're probably aware, the Platinum Rockies and Hozone pulled out of the show. That means that we have to figure out how to fill an hour of television with just scales. Oh no. It sounds like an opportunity. That's not the res response I expected to hear, but I like that attitude. You're right. Having one hour of primetime television centered on your group is a great opportunity. And it sounds like you intend to rise to the occasion. One of the, th one of the things we'd like to do is include a segment featuring you. 
A sit-down interview with sort of sorts with me and Miss Sawamura. <laughs> Did someone just say my name? Oh, I was wondering where you went, Miss Sawamura. I was just getting Miss Lee up to speed. Great, great. I'm so glad you were jo uh, you're were able to join us. Mr. Tanaka didn't tell you this was going to be an interview, did he? I hope he didn't use that word. Interview is so formal. We're looking to... We're looking at this more of as a chat. A chance for viewers to glimpse behind the scenes and get a closer look at the people who make the show possible. Oh, glad to know I get some recognition. <laughs> anyway, I know you probably didn't show up expecting to appear on camera, so why don't you spend a couple minutes with the hair and makeup folks while we get ready for the actual sit-down? Oh, uh, I know that people, people kind of love seeing a little bit of, like, managerial action. Like, people love to know that, you know, the idols are in good hands. Several minutes later, Sawamura Chie and Tanaka Yasunori are back on set ready to record. Camera technician gives a signal that they're rolling, Sawamura Chie smiles and talks or speaks directly to the camera. Mina san, konbanwa. Welcome back to the backstage. I'm sitting here with a face that might not be familiar to you, but I guarantee you're fa familiar with her work. <laughs> We've all had the chance to get to know many of the lovely idols of Scales. But Miss Lee here is the person who works tirelessly behind the scenes at Scales to make sure the gear is keep turning. Oh, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And of course, I'm also glad to be sitting down with Tanaka Yasunori as well. But I'm always sitting next to him, so it's not that big of a deal. Mr. Tanaka, you're a bit like Miss Lee in that a lot of your early career was spent behind the scenes. So this day. Right. I'm a music producer. Well, I guess you could say Lee is an idol producer. We're not performers, but we keep the studio running smoothly to ensure that the performers can do their best work. Yeah, dude, did you know that I had a brief stint in actually songwriting? Like, all of our early songs were written by me, or composed by me, because... I couldn't afford a fucking sound technician. Can you believe that? They sounded like shit. Uh, even the best talents in the world uh, benefits from a good production, and that's what we offer. Would you agree with my comparison, Miss Lee? Um, these both sound fucking degrading, honestly. Um, oh no, no, no. This is saying he does what I do. Uh,. You're, you have a, an expertise. I'm kind of a jack of all trades. <laughs> I guess I'm flattered, Miss Lee, though I'm sure you have a great eye for detail as well. <laughs> all of this is interesting to me because, as you know, I've spent most of my career in front of the camera and not behind it. In a lot of ways, it's great to be in a role that lets me focus on my own performance and, and the audience while people like you, uh, oh, uh, uh, while, hmm? It's great to be in a role that lets me focus on my own performance and the audience, while people like you uh, keep things running smoothly. In fact, I, I've got a bit of a confession to make. I think I've taken people like you for granted for a lot of my career. I think a lot of people at home might be in the same boat that I am. We love big performances and everything that goes along with them. It can be easy to assume that all of that happens just because of passionate and talented performers and forget all of the work that happens behind the scenes. So this day. Right. People only see the finished product. It can be easy for them to forget that this is also a business. But I think a lot of people don't want to think of it as, don't want to think of it as a business. Do you think that talking about the business side of things can undermine people's enjoyment of it? Absolutely not. Like I know a ton of people that love to know the inner workings because like finding out fucking 20 years into your passion that like, oh, it turns out that the, the idols you've been watching or like admiring this entire time have been treated like shit. Like people fucking hate to hear that, you know? So I think people like to hear that they've been treated all right. Well, I hope not, because otherwise, why are we having this conversation on camera? <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, I'm curious to hear what Miss Lee thinks about this. Do you think people's enjoyment of entertainment is lessened when they know about the business that goes into making it? Um, 
complaining about the business makes the entertainment more enjoyable. Knowing about all the business details makes it less enjoyable. I think people generally don't care. <laughs> I think I agree with Miss Lee, sort of. I think most people genuinely don't care, but I also think that if people see too much of what happens behind the scenes, it can ruin the entertainment. Imagine you created a big action movie and released a version that didn't have any of the special effects. That wouldn't really be a more honest way of doing things, would it? No, but people love to see the behind the scenes of, of like, all of that shit. Like, I love those behind the scenes of, like, oh, this is how we animated this movie. And it's just like, wow, that's so cool. I can never do that. Holy shit. People want to see the finished product look as good as it can. And sometimes seeing the process behind it can undermine that. I don't know about that, dude. Everyone knows that movies have special effects. Everyone knows that idol groups have music producers who, who work on things like instrumentation and other parts of the music that idols can't do themselves. Actually, I think a lot of people enjoy idol groups that make their own music, but that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Like, kind of a rare thing. <laughs> and everyone knows that every entertainment business has people like Lee, who make sure the wheels keep turning so that people can keep seeing more of their favorite performers. You said it is a joke earlier, but I'll bring it up again now as a serious question. What do you think about this segment that we're doing right now? Do you think that by bringing Miss Lee on to talk about a running... Oh, Jesus. Do you think that by bringing Miss Lee on to talk about, a ru about running an idol group that we're breaking the curtain in a way that undermines what Scales is trying to achieve? Hmm. Helpful or necessary? I don't think they're det detrimental. Um, I think they're necessary, so honestly. I agree completely. I think it's good to have the occasional reminder that entertainment is a business, and that there are people in the background who work hard to keep that business running. I think that's part, uh, that's the part that people sometimes lose sight of. Everyone knows that money changes hands whenever business deals happen, but we forget that even when it comes to the less glamorous parts of the business, it's still people dealing with other people, just in a less public manner. And I think that when we forget about the people who work behind the scenes, that's when a lot of nastiness can, some, can start to come out online. I guess we should address the elephant in the room, huh? <laughs> well, if there is an elephant in the room, it would be rude to just ignore him. Also, why is there an elephant in Japan? I don't think they're native here. <laughs> All right. Miss Lee, obviously you're aware of the fact that Sasuke Bakugo isn't join us, joining us on the show tonight. He's a little bit of a poo-poo head, you know? Do you have any words for Mr. Sasuke? Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Get fucked, idiot. The fuck? Um... <laughs> I'm not saying the last one. That's, like, unnecessarily combative. I definitely take heat for that. Um... I don't think he's coming back to this either. Uh... Nice commitment, dude. I see. You know, I'm almost tempted to say the same thing. You don't have to agree with someone to admire certain qualities that they have. While I might often find myself disagreeing with Mr. Sasuke, he's definitely not a quitter. He is an asshole, though. I guess Miss Lee is one to admire that kind of tenacity. Hmm. Yeah, I sure do admire tenacity. But <sighs> apparently tenacity isn't enough. Isn't enough for some people. I hope we see the same kind of tenacity from Miss Lee. <laughs> Let's see what the idols think. The technician behind the camera gives a thumbs up and the studio lights dim. Alright, we're done recording. This is the part of the program where we'll cut from this conversation to footage of idols. <gasps> I hope you don't mind, but one of the other things we're doing to fill time for this episode is asking idols to critique their boss. Arigatou Miss Sawamura and I have another segment we have to record. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. You were great. I want to see that segment where they're critiquing me. Ooh, nice. That's so many. 26, like a week from now then. When's the release? 
like the sixth. So we've got some time. Young girl, there's no need to feel down. I said, young girl. Nani y'all? Eh, that's not platinum. Did it auto save? Yosh, okay. Oh. Um. that and start this baby up I'm not uh, afraid of saves coming a little bit huh and hey, what was that asexual wow just like me for real for real meme queen love to see it um, unfortunately none of y'all are what I'm looking for so load that up take the audition again what are y'all offering? A gold. A silver. A silver. Woo, there you are. Shameless. Unafraid of scandal. Hmm. Nah. <laughs> Not you. You, though. Whew. You for sure. What about you? Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I'll take you. I know you've praised me worthy of joining in the ranks of scales, but you should know that, on that only Kami-sama can judge me. Haters can hate, but I'm just going to stay true to myself. Nice girl. Thanks so much for giving me this opportunity. If you ever need me to work extra hours, don't hesitate to ask. Girl, you're going to have to change up your aesthetic. You look too much like um, Momoka here. So, hairstyle. Uh, that's good. What other accessories we got? Oh, just those, huh? Uh, that's cute. Okay. Nice. And can we, like, give you context or some shit? Yeah. We'll do that. Because we've already kind of got one Megane here. And I don't want to dilute the pool. Oh, happy 21st. Uh, let's do another round of auditions. Or not. Oh no, I can reset the cooldown for money. Yeah. Yish. Okay, let's get back to the story. Ah, uh, no. oh, Miss Lee, you're here. Numbers are in from last night, and, well, things seem to have gone pretty well. Ratings for Nation of Idols were actually up from pre previous weeks. I guess the controversy attracted more attention. <laughs> and lucky for us, all of that attention happened to land on the night that we were the only group featured. Well, actually, luck probably didn't have any anything to do with it. I suppose I should be crediting your wily business sense rather than mere chance. I'm glad that things went our way in the end. Oh, and Tanaka Yasunori uh, called a few minutes ago to mention that he would be stopping by to talk with you. Uh, did someone say my name? Ah, there you are. That's all I had to report. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> I came to thank you. I didn't. I don't think it would be exaggerating to say that you single-handedly saved the show. I want you to know this. 
You did right by the network, and the network is going to try to do, do right by you. I can't be too specific, but when it comes to meetings behind closed doors with our advertising partners, we're going to do everything we can to make sure everyone knows how easy you were, wor easy you were to work with. Of course, even without any prompting from us, the attention that you got last night will probably attract potential business partners. You probably already knew that, but I want you to know that we're behind you. It's nothing concrete, but a network like JHK does have influence in the world of business, so don't be surprised if better business proposals start rolling in. Woo, nice. I mean, we're already rich as fuck, so <laughs> I didn't really need this, but thank you. On a more personal level, uh, level you're, you've always... You, oh. On a more personal level, you've also done me a huge favor. Mr. Sasuke is, to say the least, a bit of a dickhead. Difficult to work with. Uh, kind of the opposite of you, in a lot of respects. Of course, Mr. Sasuke's on-air persona is what attracts viewers, so there was lots of reluctance to cut him from the show. But I think last night's ratings showed that Nation of Idols will succeed with or without Mr. Sasuke on the judging panel. Mr. Sasuke being off the show has also given me more bargaining power with the network. I'm starting to look more and more like the biggest fish in the pond, so I guess you could say that on a more personal level, I owe you one. Hmm. Now's not a good time to try and collect on that debt, but hopefully in the future I'll be find I'll find myself in a position to return the favor. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, there it is. Get fucked. Trill Sasuke Bakugo, you can suck a dick. Okay. Second of November. Uh release is soon, so I wanna wait for that. That's my research. I can start researching well not that, okay. Soon, 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 soon. One more day? Two more days? Let's get a new one started, huh? Um. <laughs> uh, we've already done a four, eight days a week parody. What about. Um. <laughs> Instead of like a hard day's night, how about like easy nights day? <laughs> yeah? Let's do hip hop happiness and street again, huh? Oh no, hip hop I've already maxed out. Let's do pop. Pop happiness story pop. And let's do 350. I think. Should I bump it up? I think I should bump it up. Let's do like 370. That'd be sick. <laughs> Everybody join in. Work on the song, because I'm working on auditions. Yish. Yish. I don't think I want to do a second group. That seems like so much to, to like, handle. And I've already, I'm already making so much money. Yish. Okay. All right, time to continue. Seems like clips from the final episode of Nation of Idols have continued to circulate online, further increasing scales as reach and exposure. Mm. Was it worth it? Mm. Is this about Nation of Idols? Sort of, yeah. Mr. Sasuke wanted to pull everyone out of Nation of Idols. Uh, the Platinum Rockies and Hozone pulled out, but we didn't. What is this? Oh, Pete. Holy shit. Woo! Kind of fire. I like it. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. And I'm 
sh I'm not sure that I'm comfortable with the decision that was made. It certainly benefited scales in terms of exposure. For the past two days, I've been seeing comments and mentions online from people saying that they discovered scales through that episode of Nation of Idols. But every time I read one of those comments, I feel uncomfortable deep in my gut. Are you familiar with the prisoner's dilemma? Yeah, the like a lie betray thing. See, but like, I have the sneaking suspicion that if we had allied, we would have been betrayed. You know? Like, yeah, I'm familiar with the prisoner's dilemma, and unfortunately, girl, yes, the best outcome is that everyone allies. But most of the time, betraying to, to prevent being betrayed. At least in this kind of situation. You know? It's an unfortunate circumstance. But, also, you shouldn't fucking try to simplify everything down to game theory. It's never as simple as game theory tries to make it seem. Like, I, pe I feel like people always try to make things black and white using, like, tit for tad, prisoner's dilemma. And it's just like, it's not ever that simple, you know? Like, <laughs> it's, it's never, it never is. Yeah, I'm familiar. Mm. I keep thinking about Scales' TV appearance in the context of that thought experiment. In The Prisoner's Dilemma, the best collective outcome occurs when both prisoners decide to cooperate and refuse to testify. Hmm. So you say that. But like... Would... Motherfucker... Sasuke Bakugo... Really have... Decided to... Cooperate... If we hadn't betrayed? I don't know. Because it seems like he was trying to pull some of the biggest threats to his career out of the competition. I don't know, girl. But that's not a stable equilibrium, because either of them could defect and get a reduced sentence for himself. Mm. Cooperating in a one-time prisoner's dilemma seems like an irrational thing to do, because you aren't pursuing the best possible outcome for yourself, and... You're putting yourself at the mercy of others. What we did was kind of like that, wasn't it? If every idol group had decided not to appear on Nation of Idols, we all would have had better bargaining power against the show. But because we went on, we got more exposure, and the other groups, and Mr. Sasuke, got nothing. Well, I feel bad for the other groups, uh, but fuck Sasuke. Fuck Sasuke Bakugo. He's like a piece of shit. Fuck Trills, bro. All my homies hate trills. The show will probably be able to continue now that the network has more time to plan for next week's episode, and there's a chance that everyone else might get to might get cut to make room for more talent. Hmm. I think I made the best choice. It was the best decision for us. And as someone whose career stands to directly benefit from ex increased exposure from scales, I guess I should be thankful. But knowing that the other group's loss is my gain just makes me feel guilty about how things turned out. See, listen, I understand your point, Sayaka, but here's the thing. We didn't put them in that situation. You know who put them in that situation? Fucking Sasuke Bakugo. Look who's pulling the fucking strings here. I'm not the one that put them in the fucking prisoner's dilemma. I was a prisoner. <laughs> Feel, like, angry at the one who put us in this situation, girl. Like, you know what would have happened if he hadn't made that fucking announcement? Nothing. Nothing would have happened, everyone would have had their screen time, and it would have been great for all of the idols. Literally every single group. If he hadn't started his bullshit to get Twitter riled up over a nothing burger, then guess what? Nothing would have fucking happened. Nothing bad. We would have all benefited. But guess what? He put us in that situation because drama. The Prisoner's Dilemma describes a one-time event. It's rational to defect because regardless of what the other prisoner does, defecting will lead to a better outcome for you. 
But the other prisoner's behavior will, in part, be informed by what they expect you to do. If they know that you're going to defect, then they have no choice but to also defect, so you aren't able to take advantage of them. That leads to a worse outcome for everyone. Society works because of people who are willing to take a chance on others. Cooperation lifts everyone up. It's... <laughs> girl. Girl. Like, literally, by the time I was going to make my decision, they had already made their decisions. We were not in conversation with them. In the real world, a pr the prisoner's dilemma isn't a one-time event. You have a reputation that follows you. A reputation for what? So in the real world, where you have to keep living in the same world as the other prisoner for the rest of your life, is it still rational to defect? <sighs> Girl. I did not put us in this situation. Be angry at the guy who did. You are angry at the wrong person. I guess what I'm saying is, are you sure that the next time you won't be the one who becomes a victim when someone else decides to defect? Girl. We just have to try to avoid being in the prisoner's dilemma. If it comes to that, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But I think this situation was a nothing burger and it was not worth like pulling out for something that Twitter's going to forget about in two weeks. All right, Jesus. Happy 21st. Uh, let's see, the 13th. Okay, save. Over right. You. Come on, hit me with the good shit. Uh, welcome back. I think Sayuki cursed me because uh, game crashed. But here we are. This one, like, you look identical to her. But you're not platinum. Whoa, you are, though. Events that would damage relationships hurt less. If only Sayuki had that. Um. Yeah, I'll take you. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm running a, I'm running a kind of cutthroat operation here. I think you should look into a, uh, smaller group or go to a therapist first. Or, you know, seek medication. Forgiving doesn't hold a grudge. Yeah, sure. I'll take you. What about you? Mm, when hosting a show alone, that's a lot of stamina, girl. No thanks. Uh, I think that's good for now. Good to be here. I hear showbiz can get pretty rough and tumble, but I bet it's easier to survive if you have friends. I know I'm new here, but I'm really looking forward to working with everyone. Seems like everyone works so hard. If we all just do our best, I think we're going to do great. Okay. Oh. Noise. Okay. Uh, when's my next release? Oh, not anytime soon. I'm like, hold on. People are getting bullied? The fuck? Girls, chill. Sheesh. Big money, big money, no whammies. Girls. Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. Do another concert. Tokyo Coliseum. Whoa. I don't have nearly enough. That's all right. Oh, 
I should... Oh, not long after, after the release of 40 hours a day PvE, uh, your fans have pointed out that Serika isn't as strong as the dancer. Uh, da, da, da. It's become a joke to fans. She's taken notice. It's obvious that they've begun to hurt her feelings. She might never have the courage to dance with the others again. Girl, you need to stay offline for a while. Let's just train you up, huh? Oof. She doesn't contest your decision. Evidently, if her, her if her dancing is that terrible, she just needs to put 110% of her efforts into improving. People get bored of making fun of her. There's kind of a bit of a rift. Oh, but her dance went up 20? That's totally worth it. I'm sorry. Holy shit. Go to, uh, Wananame, or Wananama. I'm sorry, who the fuck is bullying? Who the fuck is bullying? I'm faithful to my wife. Tell me the gossip. Oh, they're getting romantically involved. Oh my god. You are getting bullied? Hold on. Tell me your relationships. Oh. Oh, you're not gonna tell me who's bullying you. I'm gonna ask other people. Happy 22nd! Tell me the tea girl who's fucking bullying. I know they're dating. You don't need to tell me anymore. Oh, I've already talked to you. I've already talked to you about you. Well? Uh, tell me the tea. I know they're dating. Stop it. What about you? Are you gonna tell me the tea? I know you're kind of mad at me. Oh my god, who's fucking bullying people? Ugh. You don't trust me. I'm sure you don't either. Huh. Older girls will, though. You chat with me. Producer-san? Producer-san? <sighs> Tell me the gossip. More people are flirting. Love to hear it. Love wins. Huh. <sighs> You're getting bullied, and you're getting bullied. Tell me the gossip. No, I don't care. I need to know who's getting bullied. Yes. Yes. Hai shi I don't care about secret boyfriends. Ugh. <sighs> People are getting bullied. I need to know who. Okay, good to know. Okay, more people are dating. That's great. That's good for them. It's good for them. That's a lot of money. I need to know who's getting bullied. Well, I know who's getting bullied, but like, tell me who's bullying. Bruh. Am I, like, looking at the wrong shit? I don't care. Yata. Girls, I just need to know. 
Huh. Wait. No. Gossip. Oh, here we go. Mizuno Yuki seems to really have it out for Kawamura Kira. Mizuno Yuki. Mizuno Yuki. You. Girl, you need to chill. Oh, I should change my... Uh... Oh, fuck. Did I order... Oh, order. Did I hire too many? Uh... Well, you know, you can be replaced by the girl who's identical to you. Hey, Judy! 330 easily. Nice. Next one is... Oh, that's the election single. Okay. Oh, you! You need to stop it. You need to chill, girl. Influence. Stop bullying. You didn't have to stick your nose into this, you know. But since you're asking, I, have, I guess I have no choice but to obey. Yeah, stop. <laughs> stop it. You want a cool TV job? Okay. Uh, let's change to cool. A TV job is variety, right? Oh. You're sitting in the break room when Teru Yayaka strikes up a conversation with Oda Yuri. Hey. Hey, did you do anything interesting last weekend? As a matter of fact, I did. I got to go to a friend's wedding. Mm -hmm. Oh, what kind of wedding was it? <laughs> uh, you know, it was a chapel-style wedding. Pretty standard stuff. Mm. I guess chapel-style weddings are pretty popular. I wonder why so many people choose to get married in the church. Eto. I think the idea is that the wedding is supposed to be a ceremony where you declare before the god that you intend to stay faithful to that person that you've chosen. Well, that and you're announcing, you're announcing it to the world, or at least your community. That's why you invite friends and family to, to observe the ceremony. Mm. But it's weird. When you consider how many people get married in a church that they have no connection to, why are those kinds of weddings so popular when so few people go to the church? Eto. I think it's a Western tradition. Oh yeah, they don't really do like, like church, like because God reasons, like church weddings in Japan, huh? They just kind of like the aceptic. Just like Neon Evangelion. Neon, Neon Genesis? Yeah, Neon Genesis Evangelion. I heard it started to become more popular a number, a number of decades ago when things like European royal weddings became a big international televised events. More people started wanting to have marriages like the ones they saw on TV, even though Japan doesn't really have a his history with that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I wonder if there are any churches in, the, in Japan that stay in business just so that couples can have a place to get married. <laughs> That's actually kind of what's happened. You're supposed to get married to, but, uh, by someone who's a priest or whatever, right? But there aren't actually a lot of clergymen in Japan who can conduct that kind of service. So a lot of couples just hire someone who looks like a priest from a talent agency. Uso. Wait, really? <laughs> well, that's what my friends said they did when they were planning the wedding. Eh? They just said friends, not friend. Does that mean we knew both of the people who were getting married? Mm. Yeah, that made the wedding ex extra fun. Mm -hmm. It definitely does seem like it would be more fun to be at a wedding where you know both of the people involved. Or a wedding where you know none of the people involved. Why would you be there? Aww. I've been to weddings where I attended just because the person I, I was with knew the bride or the groom. Ah, yeah. uh, you were somebody's plus one? Oh. Yeah. yeah, going to a wedding just because someone dragged you along is kind of the worst. Mm. Is it really? I don't know, it seems like it would be fun. Eto. I thought the same thing. Then I went to several weddings where I knew nobody there, and my opinion changed. Yeah. Hey, Miss Lee, how do you feel about getting taken to formal events like weddings as somebody's plus one? <sighs> I don't take kindly to weddings. 
think it's boring not to know anyone. That's the problem I, I have as well. If I get dragged along to, a, to an event, I only know the person I came with, and they're usually at the event because they want to talk to people there. Either they abandon me and I'm stranded by myself, or I stick to them the whole time and feel like a third wheel in every conversation. Oh, you don't like it when your date shows you off to the world? I'm not an Aston Martin to be showed off, shown off. It's incredibly awkward to be in a conversation where you're not really a participant. True. That's why I don't talk to people. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it's lucky that you know that you knew both of the people who were getting married at the wedding that you want that you went to last weekend. Mm. Yeah, it was great. Felt like having an intimate get together with our friend group. Most of the people in attendance knew both of them even before they started date even before they started dating each other. And it feels good to feel like you have a rooting interest in the marriage. Like, I want both of them to be happy together. Wait, shouldn't you want that for every couple? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I'm sure it'd be great for every couple to end up happy. It would be fucking great. Eh? I want every married couple to be happy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, a little late for that. But there are some weddings where you look at your friend and think the whole time, you should not be marrying this person. Oh. Oh, uh, could have told me. Or, it's a mistake for this person to be getting married to you. Or, neither of you should be marrying anyone. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to think now. Uso. That's pretty mean. <laughs> I don't know, Ayuka. There's some weddings where you just know it's doomed from the start. It's like you're witnessing the first act of a catastrophe and you're powerless to stop any of it. Yeah, like Brenda and Eddie. Or I guess it's more like witnessing the second act of a catastrophe that's already in motion. The relationship doesn't start with the wedding. So the wedding is where the falling action starts. But the wedding I went to last weekend was great. When you're at a wedding with people you like and you know that the marriage is a good idea, it's just fantastic. <laughs> They're happy, you get to be happy, there's really nothing better. Oh, I wish they were all happy. It'd be great. Yes. It would be great. Mm. More people broke up. I get it. I get it, girls. Uh, <laughs> I kind of an item right now. Producer san. Producer san. <sighs> Maybe it's a good thing that I'm barred from dating any more of them. Because I am one heartbreak away from just forbidding dating in general. Tell me who's been... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Sayaka. I thought it was Sayuki. Whoops. Hey, gossip with me. I don't care. Gossip with me about the thing that I need. Girls, why are you fighting? Please, I just need to know who's bullying who. I'm not gonna tolerate this shit. <sighs> Come on. Ureshi. Come on. Producer song. I don't care that they're flirting. I need to know who's getting bullied. Or like why they're getting bullied. Or like who's bullying so I can fucking fire them. Or you know, keep them in line or something. I don't care. 
はじめ。ユートのスタイル。I literally don't care who's dating who. I just need to know. There we go. Nishikata Sayaka. Hmm. You. I knew you were a bitch. Talking all high and mighty about the prisoner's dilemma. Ah. <sighs> I ain't mighty about the prisoner's dilemma, and you're fucking bullying another member of the group. All right, bitch. Hey, what's the deal with you and Miss Lee? Huh? What do you mean? I mean that she seems to be spending a lot of time with you. You two getting cozy? You managed to cast our catch our boss by the heart? No, there's nothing going on between us. Why would you think that? Oh, come on, stop trying to hide it. Obvious that obvious that she likes you. I mean, I would, but unfortunately, I'm faithful to my wife. I hope it's mutual. But it isn't like that at all. <laughs> Look, I, just, I wasn't trying to call you out. If I, in fact, if anything, I would be happy for you. This could be a great opportunity for you, and Lee's not bad looking to boot. Why do you feel the need to sneak around and hide it? But I'm not hiding anything. We just get together and talk about things. Sorry, but that's gotta be the weakest excuse I've ever heard. Listen, if you're going to lie to me, at least respect me enough to make it a good lie. But I'm not lying. <sighs> of course you're not. Bye, liar. Mizuno Yuki standing alone in the hallway. She looks ready to cry. Hey, what's up? <gasps> oh, Miss Lee, I didn't realize you were listening. I'm guessing you heard all of that. I'm sorry. Serika caught me completely off guard. I just didn't know what to say. And now I'm not sure how to tell her the truth. Um. I'll tell the truth. Oh, that would be a huge relief. I'm sorry you had to get involved in this whole thing, but thank you for stepping in and to sort things out. Hmm. Oh shit, I should be working on a single, but I think, I think I'm going to be calling it a day. I think I've gotten quite a bit of story in. You know, we took full advantage of that Nation of Idols thing. Uh, fuck you Sasuke Bakugo. Uh, fuck you Nako for breaking my goddamn hearts. And, um... Well, I hope, I hope Nako finds happiness in her life, but Sasuke Bakugo, I hope you fucking die. Uh... <laughs> I'm still a little bit heartbroken. And it sucks that I can't, you know, pursue anyone else, even though I know that this marriage falls apart. But I guess technically it hasn't fallen apart yet. So, hooray. I have a billion dollars. Ugh. Oh, thank you all for watching. Uh, this is your idol manager, Lizard, signing off. See you later. Bye-bye. Uh,